Welcome back on the record with Justine Phillip. I'm your host, Dennis T. And we want to find out, all year's night, Justine. Yeah. What are you doing all year's night? Actually, I fly back to LA all year's night. Um, you know, first, I hanged out with my coach and uh, my manager and staff because I just came back from Trinidad and we went to Starbucks, drank coffee and talk, moving forward and uh, the second actually is what when everything went bad. I had a, my first training session. I was going really, really good. I actually had four PBs in training because I had four efforts and they were all faster, faster, faster. And um, I had like one problem. I was not recovering fast enough. Uh, usually my recovery time is like 20 minutes, but it was taking me like more time, like 45 minutes to recover. And um, I don't know what was going on, but that night I just started to vomit. All mm. night, all night, just started vomiting. And um, I called my mom. <laughs> of course. I called my mom and I was like, yo, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just keep throwing up. And um, she just told me it was like food poisoning. But you know how Trinidad people are, right? So it's just. If it's not keep... food poisoning, it's Obia. Yeah. <laughs> that's how so it is. I just keep throwing up and I was like, something's wrong with me. I have to go to the hospital. And she's like, no, that's just, just keep drinking water. You're going to go to the hospital, use up your insurance, and da da da. So I was like, okay. And then about like seven o'clock, same thing, and I just started to throw right the pile. So it got really, really bad, and I went to the hospital. And by the time I got there, I had my uh, kidneys had already like failed because I was like so dehydrated wow. that they just started to cut off. And um, yeah, long process from there, you know, just getting by the IV fluid, running the tests to make sure because the doctors weren't sure like what triggered it off. Um, Another problem was that the left the left kidney wasn't working as well, mm. where you know you could operate with one kidney. So the right side cut off, and then the left side cut off too. So they right. were running tests to ch try and figure out why that happened, and then uh, my liver started giving trouble as well what too. So it was a long yeah. I mean, I, I was, was trying supposed to, to go hospital. You were supposed to go in the bamboo <laughs> for parts. <laughs> no, I mean I was trying to keep it real tight on media. You know, like I was really really worried about that during that whole stint, mm. and um. You know, just really trying to control my management team on what they post, and because I mean, I saw all kind of things. I saw it was like excessive protein. I heard it was like supplements. I heard it was like drugs. I heard it was like all kind of uh, thing. You know, that's the other thing I want to ask you about the yeah. speculation. Young guy, twenties, yeah. early twenties, yeah. and here you go on with kidney failure, yeah, organ failure. I mean, it's it was crazy. I mean, at that point in time, I mean, a lot of things was going on with athletes, you know, like, you know, people yeah. getting sick and it was just all one time. But I mean, I think now we have more of a following in sport. You know, I think a lot more people in China and Tobago start following sports. I think maybe after the, like, the last Olympics, you know, a lot, a lot of people just focus on sport now. And I think we get a lot more play on like the airways and stuff during the news time. So I think we have more of a following. So I think a lot of people were concerned and then, you know, everyone is open to their opinion as well. So, I mean, I mean, we can't hide from that because, you know, we live in a light, but... Last year, after the um, Moscow mm -hmm. World Championship track and field, you had Tyson Gay, you had Kellyanne Batiste, and yeah. then right after that, Asafa Powell, Veronica, Campbell, Brown, Sharon Simpson, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just saying, yeah. Phillips in hospital. Yeah. A lot of speculation yeah. Yeah. Uh, about how... Mm. Um, have you got any information about what really caused this? Nah, you know, uh, we spoke to the doctors, and I mean, the doctors are always telling us that, you know, this we don't know. Maybe mm. that's what you know. My my doctors comment to me. You know, he said like we are doctors, but we don't know everything. This one is for God. <laughs> so I mean, we kept doing so many tests, but we did so many tests like CAT scans. We did a nuclear test where they injected like a nuclear something through my veins and had to run through my whole body and it was just so much testing I was actually really really scared because I was like I thought like you know I had cancer or something <laughs> because the pain was like unbearable man mm -hmm. it was so much pain I just, just I didn't even want to do anything anymore you know I just wanted to how like, close do you feel you came to end in your career um by the third day you know, I thought it was all downhill because uh, my doctor came in and he said that they, they don't know what's going on with my kidneys because I haven't, I didn't pee for like four days, you know, and I kept the, just a lot of IV, a lot of IV, a lot of IV, and I wasn't going to the bathroom at all. And, uh, you know, they started to worry and they wanted to go in with a stint. And then 
they wanted to actually cut me to get mm. cut piece. I think it's called a biopsy where they cut piece of the, uh, mm -hmm. the kidney to, to, to run tests to see what was going on. And that's when I started to freak out because I said, well, once it involves cutting, it's going to take you know a long recovery time. And time is really not on my side right now with come on World Games coming up and Olympic qualifiers starting this year. So, I mean, it was a really, really, really tough time. Those couple of days. Wow. <laughs> But you're back now. Yeah, well, I'm back. 100%. You're back. You're back into full training. Yeah. How long have you been back into full training? Um, since January, February, like mid February, is when I started to get it back. Going. And and how I know last year was a kind of you only did two World Cup um, mm -hmm. events last year. Yeah. You did uh you you had a pretty full year, oh, but yeah. a lot of it were like. Up and down. Yeah, the um the, the quality yeah. of, of events were more or less like okay, I just go in and, and yeah. keep fit, I'm mm -hmm. gonna see who's there. But it wasn't top rated events, yeah. right? Let's be fair to the, the schedule they had yeah. last year. Was there a reason for that? Well last year is uh, after the Olympics I decided to take some time off. I took a year off competition. So uh at the ending of twenty twelve, the beginning of twenty thirteen. Uh I had change of camps. I actually went to Berlin, started the training over there. Um, I didn't like it, it wasn't working out, so I went back to LA in September, so, I mean, I was ready for when I actually said that I was going to be ready, which was September for the first World Cup, and first set of points leading up to the World Championships, but I mean, ups and downs again, uh, went back to my old team, and we got ready, and we did well, but if, with the major competition that we were going for, which was the first World Cup in Manchester, and it was, it was a great, great time back. You know what I mean? PB, medal. Tw 2012, right? Let's look back at 2012. Mm -hmm. You started 2012 knowing um, you had to get to, to London, mm -hmm. right? Um, Pan American Track Championships. What went on there? It's like you just bust out with this, this goal. It's like. Yeah. Um, it was, that, that whole build up was a tough, tough build up. Uh, it just, I crashed, broke my collarbone, so I had right. to make up all the points. And I went to every World Cup that year, flying to China back, and then going to London, and then going to Mexico, and then going to Colombia. It was just a lot of flying, but I got everything done. I made it to the Olympics, and it was a great, a great run. How fast is, is Jason Kenny? <laughs> because that looked kind of <laughs> like, what the hell went on there? Nah, he, he's real, real fast. How, yeah. When you, when you, when you put on your cleats, you put on your helmets, and you sit there, and, and you know you give the starter uh, yeah. that sign that I'm ready to roll. Yeah. What do you feel when you go up against a Kenny I don't, or a Dimitriev uh, or a, a Fosterman? <laughs> two of those guys who you beat, though. Yeah. Um. It's it's nothing, you know. You get out there for the Olympics. I knew that the race was done. You know what I mean? At that time, because I know the the, the speed that he had. I mean, the difference in time was was way off, so just for me to hang on. But um, everybody else is just normal. You know what I mean? Kenny is like, do you see him both? Yeah, yeah, Kenny and you know, I different. I mean, but it's different because, you know, they, they have hit and miss, but you know at certain events that they, they are gonna show up and they are gonna be on that boat speed, you know? But, I mean, it's, it's, it's still possible to beat him. You know, we just have to keep working hard. I think the rest of the world haven't really catched up with their, with their training program and their, their training technology, but we will get there. You know, the rest of the world will get there soon, so. You know what? We're going to find out more about that. Don't go nowhere. We're on the record with just seeing Philip. Hot!